Hello, hello, hello. I received my SB acoustics. Like this. It's a 6 inch woofer. Uh, instead of the Dayton Audio, I wanted to get something a little bit bigger, but still price, well, you know, price wise, El Cheapo. These are actually cheaper than the Dayton DS135 or 135 A, or I don't know what it's called, the aluminium version, but. So, and this, these are the ones with the plastic. Sounds really terrible, but with the plastic um, what is it called? Frame? No, it's not a frame. It's a basket. A basket. With a plastic basket. So they're only like 27 euros or something, or 28. I don't know, something like this. And the... what the fuck? Nice packaging, by the way, really thick, but that was not what the what the fuck was about. Mm. Ah, who? Not sure if you can see it, but there's something wrong here. <laughs> uh, the way it sits as well, so... Ah, so what do we have here? <laughs> okay. Well, that's not what I ordered. <laughs> what the fuck? It's not what I ordered, but by the looks of it, I might be pleased. Although I have to order new ones because this is not what I wanted. There's a wire running here, which kind of, and the two binding posts, and the fact that this, there is not a dust cap indicates that this is the coaxial version. Yeah. The 6 inch SP16PF C25 4 ohm coax. It's not what I ordered. I didn't order a coax. Is the other one a coax as well? Because otherwise I'm pretty fucked. Ah, it's also a coax. <clears throat> so, uh, it's not the driver I was looking for, to be honest. Because I'm not going to use a coaxial speaker in uh, it, with this ribbon design. But it is kind of, they read my mind. Because this is a woofer or a combination I wish to try. That's a, uh, you know, it's not a beautiful Twitter I guess I probably will well I'm not sure if I will remove it but I I don't need this piece of steel here to be honest these cones do look really nice I like the it's a it's a paper cone but it has this kind of you see a few fibers that are still not painted or dyed hmm. a foam pad here for sealing that's good and although this is plastic this is the open area is quite amazing there's not many woofers that have such an amount of open area some uh, die cast aluminium ones of course but uh, the price is quite different than these for sure the magnet is kind of tiny it's really tiny nice back pole piece it's like even rounded over and such which is amazing for this cost and the spider design is also cool not sure if you can see it, but you can see the coil there. So it is a um, overhung, overhung coil, and that's why they are not insanely efficient. Although still they boost eighty nine, I believe. 
which is rather high for a six inch. So that's weird because like one third of the coil or maybe more is sticking out. And that's 5.5 millimeter X max, I believe, or five. That's cool because the spider is sitting here. There's room here to vent as well, the coil. Not sure how much that is needed. I mean, they're not rated for a gazillion watts, but. Ha, look, there's the tweeter. Hello, tweeter. Hmm. That was. This is also kind of a classic design, I think. The sort of squarish, roundish thingy. I kind of like it, to be honest. Yes, it is plastic. It says reinforced plastic, but that means it probably has... Let's do the EVE test. I mean, it's not like scientific. Oh, let me scratch this. Well, actually, I don't hear any glass fiber, to be honest. Hmm. I probably need some ABS to check that. So this is probably ABS and this is Okay, yeah, so this is ABS. Mm -hmm. And this should be reinforced. So I guess a certain amount of uh, glass fiber or... Yeah, so yes, it's much harder and scratchy. So it is probably with glass fiber or some sort of reinforcement. But anyhow, um, yeah, that's not the woofer I ordered. <clears throat> so <laughs> the next question would be, will I send them back? I guess not because, well, I don't want to be a, uh, I don't want to scam anybody, but if they send me twice the, or you know two of the wrong woofers I might as well use them <laughs> I bet they have more money to spare than I have I don't know it doesn't sound good what I say right now but uh, hmm. okay cool so this is nice I will make a set with a coaxial SP acoustics. I always uh, I, I like full range, tiny full range drivers. I've never had a decent coaxial driver, so I'm pretty curious how this one performs. So I got two of them, which makes a set uh, for the price of two normal drivers, which is really nice. So thank you. I'm not gonna name your name. Or company because well who knows <laughs> didn't want to um, support me before now you did although not on purpose I guess uh, but I will buy more from you so and hopefully I, I won't get any more coaxial drivers although I won't mind but I still need some normal woofers and not the coaxial version anyhow those look rather decent and um, the Netherlands is in kind of a lockdown right now, so mm, any building is probably will take some while because I would like to try these, but I still want to make the woofers or the like the base portion for the ribbon tweeters, but apparently I cannot do that until like half January because then the shops are open where I can get some wood or I have to buy it at a like a real good wood supplier, which I might do, but uh, well, I need to uh, save some money for that because they are really expensive, <laughs> but it's nice wood. So um, yeah, 
no complete setup anytime soon I'm afraid because there is no wood available I'll have to look into the some shops have like a setup that you can order it and then you can pick it up maybe they have that as well I'll try maybe if, if possible that what well, would be nice anyhow maybe uh, have a nice Christmas maybe I'll see you before that I don't know Anyhow, bye bye. And I like the coaxial thingies. See ya.